Fans of Stranger Things were introduced to the Mind Flayer in the show's second season. The Mind Flayer is a powerful being that can control the minds of humans and animals. It can also create giant creatures called demogorgons. In this article, we will explain the Mind Flayer's powers in Stranger Things. We will also discuss how the Mind Flayer was able to control Will Byers and what happened when it was defeated. The first power is that of the Hive Mind. Having a Hive Mind simply means the Mind Flayer is a powerful being that can take control of people's minds. It is able to do this by entering their minds and manipulating their thoughts and emotions. The Mind Flayer is also able to telepathically communicate with people, and it can use this ability to control them. To achieve this peculiar power, the Mind Flayer has a number of other abilities, including the ability to create illusions, levitate, and teleport. It is a very intelligent creature, and it is able to learn and understand complex concepts. It is also very manipulative, and it often uses people to further its own goals. The Mind Flayer can create illusions and manipulate matter with its thoughts through a process called psychokinesis. For example, it can make walls appear to be melting or objects catch fire without actually burning them. The Mind Flayer is also able to levitate or lift itself off the ground using its thoughts. It can also teleport or move instantaneously from one place to another. Secondly is the power of human possession. While the Mind Flayer's main method of attack is through possession, it can also control humans in other ways. The first way is by invading their dreams. This was seen when Will Byers was first possessed and had to be hospitalized. He was having nightmares about the Upside Down, which were actually premonitions of things that were happening in the real world. The second way the Mind Flayer can control humans is by using them as hosts. When it takes over a human body, it uses that person's memories and knowledge to help it navigate the world. We see this when Eleven kills one of the spies working for the Russians. The spy says, I know where you live, before she kills him, showing that the Mind Flayer was using his memories to find her. Finally, the Mind Flayer can directly control humans if they are close to him. This was seen when he took over Will's body and used him to kill rats and birds. He also used Will to attack Joyce and Jonathan when they tried to rescue him from the Upside Down. Mind Flayer also possesses the peculiar Biokinesis power. Also known as the Shadow Monster, the main antagonist of the series Stranger Things is also an extra-dimensional being that feeds on human beings and their minds. The Mind Flayer has a variety of powers, including Biokinesis. Biokinesis is the ability to control and manipulate living organisms with the mind. The Mind Flayer can use this power to control the people it has infected with its spores. It can make them do its bidding and even kill for it. The Mind Flayer Flayer can also use this power to heal its host's body, as seen when Eleven heals Will from his wounds inflicted by the Demogorgon. The Mind Flayer's ultimate goal is to take over the world and enslave humanity. To do this, it needs a powerful host body to serve as its vessel. The most likely candidate for this role is Eleven, who possesses powerful psychokinetic abilities of her own. If the Mind Flayer succeeds in taking over Eleven's body, it would be virtually unstoppable. Next of Mind Flayer's power absorption ability. The Mind Flayer is a powerful being that is able to absorb the power of others. It can do this by absorbing the life force of other beings, or by taking their powers for itself. The Mind Flayer is also able to transfer its powers to others, which it does through its psychic link with the Shadow Monster. When the Mind Flayer transfers its power to the Shadow Monster, the Shadow Monster gains all the Mind Flayer's power and becomes more powerful than it was before. The Mind Flayer is also able to absorb the power of the Upside Down. It does this by feeding on the energy of the Upside Down, which it then uses to make itself stronger. The Mind Flayer is also able to use the power of the Upside Down to control the minds of others. The Mind Flayer is able to do this by using its psychic link with the Shadow Monster. When the Mind Flayer uses its power to control the minds of others, it is able to make them do its bidding. The Mind Flayer is a powerful being that should not be underestimated. It is a being that is able to take on multiple forms, and it is also a being that is able to absorb the powers of others. The Mind Flayer is a being that should be feared, and it is a being that should be avoided at all costs. Another important power exhibited by Mind Flayer is that of atmosphere atmosphere control. The Mind Flayer has the ability to control the atmosphere around it. This includes the ability to create strong winds and storms, as well as manipulate the temperature. In the show, we see the Mind Flayer use this power to create a blizzard in Hawkins, which allows it to capture its prey. The Mind Flayer also has the ability to control animals. In the show, we see it take control of Will and turn him into a host. It can also take control of other animals, such as rats and birds. We see it use this power to send hordes of rats after its enemies and to spy on them. The Mind Flayer has the ability to move things with its mind. In the show, we see it use this power to move objects, such as doors and furniture. It can also levitate people and objects. We see it use this power to levitate Eleven and throw her across the room. But is it true that Vecna is controlling the Mind Flayer, or this is just another hidden power? It's been theorized that the Mind Flayer is controlled by Vecna, an evil deity from the Dungeons & Dragons universe. This theory is based on the fact that the Mind Flayer shares many similarities with Vecna, including their shared love of 
secrecy and mind control. There's also evidence to suggest that the Mind Flayer is using Will Byers as a host body. In the Season 2 finale, we see the Mind Flayer reach out of Will's mouth and control his body. It's impossible that the Mind Flayer is using Will as a vessel to gain access to our world. If this theory is true, it would explain why the Mind Flayer has been so interested in Eleven. Eleven is powerful enough to open a door to the Upside Down, which would give the Mind Flayer access to our world. Eleven is also telepathic, which would allow the Mind Flayer to communicate with other beings in our world. The idea that Vecna is controlling the Mind Flayer is just a theory at this point, but it's a theory that makes a lot of sense. If true, it would mean that the Mind Flayer is even more dangerous than we thought possible. Not much evidence exists for this theory other than circumstantial evidence, such as the fact that both are massive intellects and are known to be ruthless manipulators. Nonetheless, it remains a fairly plausible theory that should be considered until more information comes to light. In reality, the Mind Flayer is a servant to Molag Bal and uses its boundless intellect and nefarious nature as a means to advance its master's goals. It can take on any form it desires, including that of an average humanoid. In combat, the Mind Flayer is capable of teleporting around the battlefield at will. It can also use its psychic powers to influence nearby creatures and even make them do its bidding. The Mind Flayer is a Lovecraftian monster which is reminiscent of the monsters created by H.P. Lovecraft. Lovecraft's monsters were often described as being inhuman and beyond our understanding. They were also often associated with insanity and mind control. The Mind Flayer shares many of these qualities. It's an inhuman creature that is difficult to understand. It also seems to enjoy causing madness and controlling the minds of others. Of course, the Mind Flayer is just a fictional character, so we can't say for sure if it was inspired by Lovecraft's monsters, but the similarities are definitely there. And our bottom line is that the Mind Flayer, which is also known as the Shadow Monster, is the main antagonist of the original series of Stranger Things. It is an extra-dimensional creature that feeds on human brains. The Mind Flayer first appears in the second season when it attempts to take over the town of Hawkins, Indiana. The Mind Flayer has a number of abilities, including telekinesis, mind control, psychokinesis, and telepathically communicating ideas. In general, the Mind Flayer comes out as a powerful creature that poses a serious threat to humanity. However, it is not invulnerable and can be defeated if its weaknesses are exploited.